Hey! You wanna learn something new? Let's go! It's your neighborhood friendly PE teacher, Mr. Gray, here with a health and physical education lesson for you. You. No, not you. You. Not you. You. Today we're going to be talking about locomotor movements. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to say, I can skip and gallop. And I can do something called differentiate between the two of them. All right, now, before we officially begin, let's go get our bodies ready to learn. Does Mr. Gray look ready for physical activity? Does Mr. Gray look ready for physical activity now? No. No. Not quite. I feel like I'm ready for activity now. Find a nice quiet place and a comfy place to sit. Breathe in as the circle fills and breathe out as it goes away. Inhale through your nose. You ready? Let's go. Now the locomotor movements we're going to be talking about today are skipping and galloping. But before we talk about both of those, we're going to review jumping and hopping. Because one of those is definitely going to help us with these locomotor movements. Get up and get ready to move with Mr. Gray. Jump with Mr. Gray when he's on this side of the line. And hop with Mr. Gray when he's on this side of the line.
Locomotor skills are movements where our body travels through space from one spot to another. There are lots of different locomotor skills. We've got walk, jog, run, hop, jump, leap, slide, skip, gallop. They are all very important in helping to develop balance and coordination. Now today we're gonna to be taking a look at skipping and galloping. Let's look at skipping first. Come on, let's oh, wait. Let's go this way. Motor skills, locomotor skip. There are four critical elements, the head, the upper body, the lower body, and the rhythm. The head. The head is stable. The eyes are looking forward and there is no side to side movement. The upper body. The body is upright. The elbow joints are at a 90 degree angle as the arms swing. The arms and legs move in opposition. The hands swing from the waist to the shoulder. The lower body. The opposite knee drives up during the hopping phase. The weight is on the balls of the feet throughout the movement. Forward motion occurs during the hop and during the forward step. Rhythm. A smooth rhythmic speed and distance is maintained throughout the movement. The pattern consists of a step and then a hop. Locomotor, skip. Now, the difference between skipping and galloping is... This locomotive movement ain't big enough for two lead feet. <laughs> Motor skills. Locomotor gallop. There are four critical elements. The head, the upper body, the lower body, and the rhythm. The head. The head is stable. The eyes are looking forward in the direction of travel. There is no side to side movement of the head. The upper body. The elbows bend at a 90 degree angle. The hands are relaxed. The upper body is facing the direction of travel. The lower body. The lead foot steps followed by the trailing foot. The back foot or trailing foot stays behind the body. The lead foot repeats the movement of stepping forward. The same lead foot is moved through the entire movement. Rhythm. The transition occurs with consistent speed and distance. The pattern consists of a step and then a quick step sequence. Gallop. The game you're gonna be playing to help practice skipping and galloping is called out of play. This is Neo. Say hi, Neo. Hi. Neo, we're going to spell the word skip. Do you know how to spell skip? S-K-I-P. 
All right, we're gonna see how fast you can do it. Remember, one letter at a time. Okay, and how are you gonna move? Skipping. Skipping. All right, turn, look at your bowl. Ready, set, go. Let's go back over what we learned today. We learned that there are lots of different kinds of locomotor skills. <laughs> we learned that the skipping pattern consists of a step and a hop. And we learned that the gallop pattern consists of a step with a quick step. We hope you had fun learning with us today. Practice those skills until the next time we see each other. As always, I've been Mr. Gray. You've been awesome. Take care. Be well. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. That's it, I think. It is? I think so. We might do another one. Yay. <laughs>